Hey, I'm back. If you uh, missed the part on shampooing your hair, uh, you can go back and watch that video. I'm uploading the, uh, today's videos in small segments because I don't want to run out of time. Now, Emla, I've been talking a lot about it because I've had so many great experiences with it. Uh, it's been a month now since I started using Emla and uh, um, my hair is noticeably thicker. I do feel it. Um, my hair wasn't thin to begin with, but it feels thicker, so that's very good. Very good report. After a month, I have thicker hair. Okay. Uh, Emla is very um, much like henna as far as it being dirty. Why am I wearing a white shirt? That's one of my... Um, just do your hair with a shirt so I'm not worried about it yes and with Emla I can actually not use gloves on like henna because there's no color deposit in your hands afterwards um so I should use clips but I am somewhat in a hurry and I really just want to show you guys how I do this real quick since I talk about it a lot I figured I'd, I'll do a tutorial on it Yes, I'm actually using the word tutorial. I've come a long way. Okay, let me start. Okay, so separate to my hair. And yes, it is a little hard going in. Uh, no more difficult than henna is going into your hair. I'm going to cut my hair with it. See, my ends have absolutely no amyl on them so you do have to make sure that you are coating the entire strand of hair uh, the hair does feel a little hard guys don't be alarmed I am not breaking it there's nothing coming out it's just not very friendly to apply okay. And I do normally use gloves, but I heard my son wake up, so I'm going to have to go pick him up soon, so I'm trying to hurry here. Wash my hands. Probably another reason I should, anyhow. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, you don't make the time in the beginning. You end up having to use up the time afterward. That's how it works. Okay. And it's coated and it's coated. Is this very messy? No, it washes out very easily actually. It's just messy going in. And I'll show you my nails when I'm done. So you sure this is not actually staining my nails or staying under my nails, which is not cute. I don't have long nails anyway. But I'll show you my hands after I clean after I clean my nails. Okay, so this side is about ready, right? You tell me, I can see. So, let me start working on the other side and do this real quick. Mm. Other than my hair getting thicker, what other changes have I seen uh, since using Emla? Uh, my definition is great. I haven't been using gel lately. Um, I've been using my homemade products actually. And I'm finding that I'm needing to use less product. Uh, I'm using a lot of butters. You can, if you're, if you're already on the blog, then you know I'm using a lot of butters. If you're not, check, check them out. Uh, there are many recipes on the blog that you can use to make your own butters and so on so forth okay. Okay. okay well and yes it will wash out of the shirt <laughs> I've done an Emla treatment and that's another thing um, less thinning with Emla not that it's a substitute for henna because I really haven't done um, a henna treatment in a long time so I'm just going off of memory on what um, henna was like for me. I'm not saying this is a substitute for henna 
but um, it definitely is great for my hair as well. Um, what am, what's in my Emla? Absolutely nothing but Emla and water right now. Uh, this time around I didn't add it, uh, any olive oil or anything to it. Probably because I knew this is my uh, spa week and I was already going to cut my hair with uh, with the oil um, before washing so my hair already had um, oil in it so it would be uh, just adding extra if I were to add some to the M light itself my hair already had oil in it alright Okay, well this is it for the um, Emla tutorial. I may not be able to close this for a little while. Okay, my hair does feel heavy. If you're doing any of those um, herbal powders, Ayurvedic, uh, powders, be ready for some weight on your hair.